Okay, I'm going to attempt to um, videotape a weekly update uh, just to kind of keep me accountable of what we've done, what needs to be done, and that sort of thing. So you can see this week we covered the edges with tarp. Um, they get blown off every winter. Just the winds are kind of crazy around here. We don't have a lot of trees. Another thing we did was I pruned all. I just kind of cut down most of the raspberries, anything that wasn't fruiting. Um, all the raspberries down the middle. I hated doing it, but they get so full. This bed gets so full that when it's time to harvest in the spring, and then when it's time to harvest in the summer, in the fall it's even worse but when it's time to harvest in the spring um, we can't even get to the raspberries in the fall we can't even see the raspberries so I'm gonna try to keep it in good shape um, I've tried to give a lot away but not enough people want them so um, you can see down the middle there are no raspberries and then I'm just gonna put kind of a big pile of mulch to maybe deter the little suckers from coming up okay here are the June bearing raspberries. They don't seem to be ahead of the ever bearing raspberries, but it's possible that it's just because it's their first year blooming and maybe, you know, next year they'll jump ahead of the ever bearing. I bought them, I bought two different kinds so that I could um, harvest early, middle, and then we'd have a little break, which is when we harvest blueberries, and then in the fall we'd harvest again. That was the plan, at least. That was the hope. But um, one thing I forgot to show you in the last video was that my little blueberry bushes that I've been pruning really heavily in the past, this year, um, I mean, I thought I pruned them, but because they're little, you know, I wanted to get them quite big before I let them flower, but they didn't pay attention to me or I didn't pay attention to them because they look like they are really just thriving um, and really putting out a lot of berries. We'll see how big they are. Because sometimes when they're when the plants this little, the blueberries are tiny. So we'll just kind of see. Um, I also did not get a chance to show you my lettuce. Here's the lettuce. Um, so we'll harvest this, and then I think we have to wait like mm, I don't know about five days before it gets big like this again. I need to plant more next year. But then you see we have some uh, kale, some cabbage, and some cauliflower down there as well and some weeds but this bed's looking really good and then all the broccoli I planted you can see has already produced a tiny itty bitty broccoli so I don't think I'm gonna do spring broccoli anymore which most people in North Carolina don't for this very reason it just gets too hot too quickly so I think I'll wait and just do fall blueberry um, fall broccoli okay so the more tarp and then the other thing we did this week which we're kind of finishing up today Saturday the end of the week is everything you see is that's dark is mulch so this section has not been mulched in like three years and it was just dirt and weeds so we have worked really hard weeding oh yeah that's what we've been doing all week we've been weeding and we've weeded the entire garden except for the edges if you saw while I was walking along the tarp I don't know if we're just gonna put a whole bunch of mulch there or if we're gonna try to weed they're just itty bitty weeds just you know annoying stuff we may just try to rake it up I haven't decided, but we don't plant over there, so I'm not too worried about it. But we weeded every everywhere where we plant, and so now what we're trying to work on before it gets too hot is mulching. So since this hasn't been mulched for three years, even though we probably won't plant here this year, we wanted to go ahead and get it mulched to keep the weeds down. Um, we planted a pecan tree last year, and it came back nicely. Um, I do have a little bit more to weed. Just a little bit around the peach tree. Oh, these are onions. I haven't shown you that. I bought some onions. It's the first time I've ever bought onion seedlings at the store. And they're doing really well. I'm going to have that little bit to weed. But other than that, um, pretty much everything is weeded. So now I'm just going to talk about new things that are going on. Try not to show you anything that I showed you at the last video if it's not new. <laughs> So let's walk over here. There is one new thing going on over here. And that is my sweet potatoes. So I have three, possibly four, but I think three sweet potatoes planted in here. And 
so I have two little slips right now and so what I do if you've seen in other videos I um, let them grow to be about six inches maybe a little bit more and then I plant them I don't remember where I was planning on planting them this year I'll have to decide that um, but they just keep growing and growing and growing and I plant them up until like mid-June even late June because we have such long summers um, and I have a really good harvest now last year if you remember that video I harvested tons of purple sweet potatoes and very few uh, orange sweet potatoes and our family just doesn't like purple sweet potatoes so I have a ton of purple sweet potatoes in the basement if you're a local and you want them you're welcome to them and this year I just took local organic orange sweet potatoes I guess they're garnet and I put them in here so I'm planning on only growing orange sweet potatoes I mean might as well grow what you love you know uh, we got our first harvest of strawberries of June bearing strawberries they were so good um, I've never grown herbs until this year if you remember I have dill growing down there I have parsley growing right here in the strawberry bed underneath the apple tree the June bearing strawberry bed and then yesterday my husband bought me basil plants my daughter wants to try to make pesto and where we live, we just live, I guess, in the country, if that's the reason, whatever, for whatever reason, none of the grocery stores around us have fresh basil. And so I thought, okay, we'll just grow it. Actually, my husband thought, why don't you just grow it? So we're going to grow it, and my daughter will have to wait a little bit to get some, um, to make pesto, but I'm pretty pleased that I'm finally growing herbs. I'm not sure why it took me so long. Okay, and then the other thing I didn't show you last time, I don't know if this is because they weren't big enough or whatever, but underneath this tree... I'm growing some lettuce over there as well. But this is more shaded, so I'm hoping it won't get bitter or anything like that. And if you can see, also some spinach. I think that's all, other than since our last video, you can see that the peas are starting to flower. So we're excited to get peas pretty soon. But I think that's the update. And I will let you know, hopefully, next week, how everything's going. Have a great day.